Consider that some line of your code is calling method m1. In the stack, a frame will be created from method m1. The variable x in m1 will also be created in a frame for m1 in the stack. m1 is calling method m2. In the stack, a new frame will be created for m2 on top of the frame m1. Variable b and c will also be created in the frame m2 in the stack. Say method m2 is calling method m3. Again, a frame m3 is created on the top of the stack. m3 is creating an object for a class account, which has two instance variables, p and q. The new operator will create an object in a heap. The reference variable ref will be created in a stack. The assignment operator will make a reference variable to point to the object in the heap. Once the method has completed its execution, the flow of control will go back to the calling method, which in this case is M2. The stack from method M3 will be flushed out. Since the reference variable will no longer be pointing to the object in the heap, it will be eligible for garbage collection. Once M2 has completed its execution, it will be popped out of the stack, and all its variables will be flushed, and it will no longer be available for use. Likewise for method M1. Eventually, the flow of control will return to the start point of the program, which usually is the main method.